Under the Speaker's announced policy of February 5, 2011, the gentleman from Rhode Island, Mr. Cicilline, is recognized for 60 min minutes as the designee of the Minority Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I would like to begin uh, our remarks today, which will focus on uh, our Make It in America agenda, our, the agenda that we've put together to put the American people back to work to really support manufacturing, and we're going to have a good discussion tonight about that, but I'd like to yield first to the gentlelady from Alabama who has some important uh, remarks to share, and uh, I yield to Ms. Sewell, Congressman Sewell. Thank you so much for yielding. I, raise, I rise today before you to discuss the recent disasters, natural disasters that have affected families, businesses, and communities across this nation. In the aftermath of such disasters, there must be a shared commitment to rebuilding communities across this nation. My thoughts and prayers are with the people of Joplin, Missouri, who suffered the most recent wrath of nature. We in the 7th Congressional District of Alabama suffered massive devastation during the April tornadoes. Nine out of 12 counties in my district suffered tremendous damage. These pictures only show part of the story. Homes were destroyed, schools, churches, businesses, and communities were destroyed, and many of my constituents lost the lives of their friends and loved ones. I want to thank the President and the First Lady for visiting my district and seeing the devastation firsthand. Mr. President, you told us then that you had not seen such devastation before. You also said that you would make sure that we were not forgotten. Thank you, Mr. President, for your commitment to rebuilding Alabama. I want to thank your administration re for responding so quickly. Within hours, FEMA Administrator Craig Fugate was on the scene to survey the widespread damage. The emergency disaster declaration and the major disaster declaration were approved within hours. I also want to thank Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano, HUD Secretary Sean Donovan, Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack, and SBA Administrator Karen Mills for traveling to my district days later. As a result of the April tornadoes, 67 lives were lost in my district alone. And in the state of Alabama, 238 people lost their lives. I want to extend my deepest condolences to those who have lost their loved ones. I want to thank all of the first responders who were on the scene to help so many of the victims. I also want to thank the volunteers who continued to work tirelessly to restore the lives of families who lost all that they had. The destruction and loss of lives has been absolutely heartbreaking. But out of this tragedy, we will triumph. We will recover, rebuild, and restore our communities. We will be better and stronger than before. I am inspired every day by the resilience that my district and the state of Alabama and the people have shown. Neighbor helping neighbor. The response by the state and local government has been tremendous. I want to thank Governor Bentley of Alabama for his leadership and timely response. The coordinated efforts of my local mayors has been amazing. I'd like to thank Mayor William Bell of Birmingham, Mayor Walt Maddox of Tuscaloosa, Mayor Cunningham of Geiger. Your leadership and tireless efforts have been commendable. I also would like to commend the Alabama Emergency Management Agency under the leadership of Art Faulkner. I would be remiss if I did not mention the incredible support and help of my colleagues within the Alabama delegation. What we have learned is that what affects one of us indeed affects all of us. Together, I know we will work to rebuild Alabama. I yield back the remainder of my time. Thank you. I thank the gentlelady, and I, uh, we all uh, stand in strong support of the work that is underway in your district and all across this country, and our hearts and prayers continue to go to the families who have suffered such uh, tragic losses during those uh, terrible, terrible incidents. And uh, we compliment the first responders and the mayors and all those you've recognized tonight.